Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with Effects and Pedals Arena Corner. And today, we're with a very cool Canadian musician, Matt DeMarco, who made very cool indie rock music, which had a very cool uh, sound to it, a rock sound. So how's it going? Pretty good, thank you for having me on your show. So we're just gonna talk about the very cool pedals that you used to make the music you made. So let's just go through your chain of pedals here. What is, you have this, what is, you have many different colors pedals. Yeah, yeah I've got um, one, two, three, four, about five different colors of pedals. Very cool. Yeah. And they're all the similar size, but one is a little red one, and then most of them are kind of similar to the, the size of the other ones. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So what is that first white pedal there? That's my chromatic tuner, which tunes my guitar. Okay. Yeah. So why do you need to use that? Because if you have a good instrument, you shouldn't need to mess around with the tuning and stuff, right? You just use crappy stuff, or what is the issue? Some of my stuff is crappy, but I don't know. They're fickle beasts, you know, depending on the weather, on how you're playing them, how you're treating them, they'll go out of tune. You just, it's, a, it's a safety measure, you know? Yeah. Behind the gear. Led Zeppelin, to me, is one of the best rock bands. Do you think you're better or worse than Led Zeppelin? Probably worse than Led Zeppelin, yeah. They're like um, pretty legendary yeah, I, I agree. I think Led Zeppelin was better. Behind the gear. So the next one is a blue pedal vibrato. What does that do? It kind of makes the sound go like a wow, 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 like a, like a, like a, makes it a bit watery. So I noticed when I watched your songs on YouTube that it has a funny, like, like a children, like a bad children's song. Like that's the effect of that. It's like a silly sound, like, like a, like a circus kind of noise. Yeah, yeah. Well, very cool. Behind the gear. Green pedal with, and and this is a very cool pedal because it's very shiny. What is that? It has sparkles on it. Did you put those on there, or did it come like no, that? It actually comes with the sparkles. It's uh, that one is a, called a delay pedal. So it comes with the sparkles because you're a very wealthy Canadian man because you're a very successful, cool musician. So you have a lot of money to tell them, look, make my version with the sparkles so the bums the, cr the bums out there know that this is the Mac DeMarco version and not the crappy normal person one. I'm, I mean, I wish I had my own special MXR carbon copy pedal, but I'm afraid it is just the, it's just the run of the mill, it's just the run of the mill pedal, that's it. So what does it do? Makes the sound, you do the sound and then it makes, it repeats the sound. You can make it repeat as many times as you want and it gets fainter goes off into the distance. So yeah, delay I think is a very cool effect because it makes the sound happen again after it already happened before and it makes the sound sound different than how it sounded before. That's right. Very cool. Yeah. Behind the gear. So what is next? Hoff. What is Hoff? I don't actually know what Hoff is. This pedal was given to us by our friend Jay and I lost- Is he Canadian? Him. He's Australian. He is Australian. Very cool. And um, So he talks weird and funny. He's got, you know, that Australian accent going on. I have to say, even though that you're from the foreign country, Canada, your voice sounds like a normal person. <laughs> well, I live in the United States, so maybe that's what you're hearing, but I don't know. I mean, depends on the part of Canada. There's, you know, the accents vary. Behind the gear. So the Australian fellow who was a friend of yours gave the Hoff pedal to you. Why did he do that? He didn't think, it, he probably thought it sucked and he was just like, uh, Mac DeMarco will use it, or Matt. They had, they got it for free. It was extra, so... He gave it to us. John actually used it on the keyboard back when John used to play uh, keyboard. And um, it, it sounds fine. And now I use it on my guitar because I lost my other one. So it's been, it's been cool to me. Very cool. Behind the gear. I was reading your Wikipedia and it said that one of your favorite bands was Black Sabbath. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like Black Sabbath. So they're a very cool band. But do you, th I think they're a very hard rock kind of band, but you're like, you play like softer kind of music, but it's still kind of cool, but it's not really rock music. So why do they call you a rock maker? Just for lack Or is that the Canadian version of rock? Softer rock is, can is a Canadian version of America. 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I like to think we rock, but I, maybe we don't. I don't know. Behind the gear. Well, I listen to the music, and you know, when I hear the rock music, many times it has a very loud, like, cr like, like sound to it. But it didn't. When I listened to your CD, the Dog CD, mm. the old Dog, mm. um, it didn't have a rock. It didn't have the j -j -j like Led Zeppelin or Black Sabbath. It doesn't. That one definitely doesn't have that much rock injected into it. And it's just the way it is. Behind the gear. I listened to two songs off the Dog CD, and I read your Wikipedia before doing the interview. Nice. Behind the gear. So let me ask you this: What is the next one? It's a micro amp pedal. Yeah, which just makes my guitar louder for when I want to attempt to rock. So why would you need that? Because if I were to make my guitar louder, I would simply go walk to the amp and turn the volume knob up. So why do you need another white box, which maybe costs a lot of money? So I, so I don't have to make the trek. I can just go to town. Because when you're wealthy, you can afford just little boxes to do the little things. I mean, it's probably about an $80 pedal, so you could be right. I don't know. $80 could be a lot. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of money for a guitar pedal. Yeah. But one time I found $100 on the street. So I could have used that money to buy a micro yeah. amp, and then I would have $20 left over to Get not buy another pedal, but I could. Sandwich or some sandwich. Behind the gear. So what is this Morley A and B, A or B? That's the pedal that I switch between my acoustic guitar and my electric guitar with. But an acoustic guitar, you don't need an amp for that. It plays by itself. It, that is true, but mine has a pickup in it, so I do send it to an amp. What do you mean by pickup? What does that do? It's this like magnetic, these wound magnetic thingy majigs that are under the strings on your guitar, and it's what makes makes you able to plug a chord into it. Why would you use that? Because if you're a so-called rock artist, that's more like a folk artist, such as Joan Baez. Why a rock artist wouldn't use such an instrument as that? Yeah, I. I don't know. I guess I've been trying to creep over into Joan territory for a while now. I don't know. Behind the gear. I suffer from a very serious condition called sleep apnea, mm. and I have a CPAP machine. Do you or anyone in your band have sleep apnea? I think that I, that's when you like make crazy noises while you're sleeping. You have well, trouble breathing, right? You have trouble breathing, like snoring, and... I, think I do have it. I've never used a machine or anything, but whenever anybody shares a hotel room with me, they're pretty perturbed by the sounds coming out of my mouth and body so they're probably also perturbed by the smell of the smoke that yeah because he's uh, he was smoking when i saw him and it was very the 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 clouds of smoke were very harsh yeah yeah well i usually don't smoke in my sleep but um do you think you still smell like cigarettes after you fall asleep or do you take a shower before bed well, i definitely i mean sometimes i'll shower before bed i don't know behind the gear my parents said oh take a shower when you wake up in the morning mm. to eradicate the smell of the previous night but maybe if I were to be a smoking person, I would do it in the evening. Behind the gear. And it seems like there's a lot of security here. Is this a very dangerous event that you're having? No, I don't think so, but it's just important to keep the kids safe, you know? The children that were here? Yeah, the people, kids, adults, young people, old people, whoever wants to see the show. Very cool. Behind the gear. Well, Mac DeMarco, it was very cool to talk to you about your pedals and, this, and the music and how you use them to make the music that you made. Thank you very much for having me. Effects and Pedals, Arena Corner. This has been a Shy Boys production.